So I figured I'll go and check out that mountain, the uh, volcano north of town, Shakani, that I'm thinking of doing. There's hardly any info online, so it's always tough to figure out, you know, if I could even get in there on a motorcycle or not. Of course, the guy in a shop who's trying to sell us a tour says, you know, you need a 4x4, four four, and I'm like, if a 4x4 four four could do it, a motorcycle can too. <laughs> But um, yeah, the weather's kind of crappy anyway, uh, next couple days, but today's pretty nice, so I'll check it out, just for future reference anyway. Either way, the road out there is really nice, I'm sure. It looks like you go over some nice twisty roads, so it's like an hour, 15 minutes to the uh, turn off on the dirt road, so should be cool. Washboard roads suck. <laughs> Whether on a bike or a motorcycle, just bumpy, just do 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 do. And then of course the chain guard falls off. And then he was uh he just saw the lock fell off the back, which he actually wrapped around there pretty good. And he had uh so anyway, uh it's up here in a little ways. I'm sure that you know if I want to get up to the base of the mountain, I could do it. I doubt there's any uh, like guards or anything there. So um yeah i think we'll just head down it's uh not fun riding on this unless i'm actually going to go up and do the actual peak so we'll go check out some things in town and uh think about if i'll do the mountain later Super good lunch. I wasn't even sure if the whole meal was just a, a little bit of the ceviche and the salad. And that was, wasn't was quite enough to fill me up. But then she's mentioning it obviously comes with the entree. And so I got the chicken and it was like pasta, kind of like they bake pasta with some cheese. And super good, only about $3. The only bad thing is I give her a hundred, which is about $30. 
and of course they have no change. It takes them like 20 minutes just to go, you know, to a couple shops to figure out where to get the change. So now we're gonna head over. I just booked a tour to do kind of like a hidden spots in Arequipa and uh, it's with some drinking, kind of an afternoon thing, like 2.30 to 6.30. So that should be good. Probably tomorrow will be the hangover day, I think. Yeah, it's Christmas on Monday. It's Saturday now. So Christmas is, um, I think they celebrate it here on the 24th anyway, which is tomorrow. Uh, so this is another reason why, you know, we had an incident within our first night here is that uh, I see all these lines for people going to the bank and going to the shops and everyone's shopping for Christmas and everyone needs money. So that's probably part of the reason why we had some bad luck on that first day. And uh, that's also the reason why this town is just so busy right now because I think in other times of the year, it wouldn't be that many people downtown. It's just because everyone probably comes from the countryside to the city to shop and hang out for the holidays. But if I lived here, man, I could go to a place like that every day. $3 to get completely stuffed. That's so good. Well, I guess we're not doing the drinking tour this afternoon. <laughs> kind of a bummer because... I, I knew it was kind of short notice for uh, us to go on the tour. So I just sent a private email to the girl that sells the experience on uh, Airbnb experiences, which I do this kind of thing too in Denver, Colorado. And she's like, no problem. You know, I'll, I'll just give her the money when I get there, and, which is also great because Airbnb gets at least 20% of off each sale. So, you know, if that's $100, you'd get $20 to Airbnb, right? So anyway, um, she's like, yeah. And then the thing that she sent me next was like, can you come like a half hour early to go to the hotel to pay them and give them the name and stuff? And I'm kind of like, actually, I'm just going to give you the cash. Like, why would I have another like errand to do? You know, because I'm kind of rushed. You know, I have to go do laundry, you know, eat lunch, this and that. And I was like, I'll try to get there a little earlier or whatever. But with business, you know, you don't pass work on to the consumer. I'm doing you a favor by giving you the extra money instead of booking it on Airbnb. And usually Airbnb isn't the big companies. It's usually just individuals. But obviously here in this town, I think it's like, you know, a big company. And that's why it's kind of not as personable in that way. Like, you know, I would never have like a customer in Denver, Colorado, like you go and pay a whole teller. So I know it's like, you just give me the money, right? <laughs> And it's funny because, you know, I'm in that restaurant and the food comes out and, you know, two minutes, you know, the food's out, bam, everything's perfect. And it's like, I give you a big bill, like, it shouldn't be like, oh my God, I've never seen this before. You know, you run a business, you've got like, I don't know how many people they have there in lunch. I mean, it, high turnover. I mean, a hundred people at lunch, a hundred at dinner, like, you know, people might have big money. You got to have change. And uh, so she canceled, basically. She's like, oh, um... There's uh, some people that are going rock climbing at the same time if you want to do rock climbing. And I'm like, going drinking in town and rock climbing is a little different. And then she mentioned there's like some tour with going to try chocolate or something. I'm like, eh, chocolate's a little, <laughs> I, I want to go on a drinking tour. <laughs> but uh, yeah, a little bit of a bummer. But you know, I've, I've noticed this in a lot of countries. We're really bad at running businesses, you know, and in a lot of ways. Anyway, no big deal. You know, I could show Charlie around. I'm a tour guide, so I could just look up some things to see and go to some bars on my own. But that was a pretty crazy ride today, just coming from that stone quarry. Back to town was probably only 10 kilometers, and it took like 40 minutes. So I think the biggest minus here would be the traffic. I mean, you couldn't even bike through in a lot of these areas downtown. Like, people are on the sidewalks. And the good thing about having a bike or a motorcycle is you could always go around traffic, like for the most part, in most cities and most places. And it's like here, you're just stuck behind a lot of cars. And so that's a pretty big minus. They're not crazy about the beeping here. Like, you know, like it was in China and Vietnam and some places like 10 years ago, but it's it would still be a pretty big minus. You know, this is the biggest city in the south. The other big city is Cusco, you know, which is a tourist area near Machu Picchu. And then, of course, Lima is the biggest city. There's one or two other decent-sized cities up north on the coast, I guess, that are nice. But I was like, this is from what I'd seen online, and I'll show more videos later of, like, you know, some of the other parts of the city that are beautiful. It's called the White City because 
they made a lot of these buildings from this white stone. And actually, I think they call it the White City because it's where a lot of the Spanish were, white, white people, right? But everyone's making these videos on YouTube showing all these like pretty vi- buildings and the square and all this stuff. And it's like one of the reasons why I want to make videos is also to so- show kind of the crappy stuff too because, you know, I was really considering living here. And I might still for like, let's say a few weeks or a few months. And, uh, but that would be a big minus. Like if I had a commute like that, like a few kilometers every day, let's say I worked at university or something or whatever. And I mean, it's like, you're on a super busy road, people going as fast as possible. Then you're like on a dirt road. Then there's like 18 wheelers and there's trash everywhere. Like I lived in Kathmandu five months. It's definitely much more like that, like third world pretty much. So now there's some cool roads out on the suburbs that are nice. Like, I'm sure you could find a nice spot that's quiet and, and, like, it's all good. Maybe I wouldn't even come down to the center part of the city, but even outside the center, you know, like I said, we were 10 miles uh, west, all the way back here was not fun, (laughs) you know? So I could see, I guess, why I didn't see a big expat presence here online. I was looking on Facebook and some other forums and some other things, and I'm like, great weather, not a monster city like Lima with higher crime. I was like, why wouldn't this be like a huge like backpacker slash like expat mecca? It must be this traffic. And and those sidewalks are like, you know, so narrow. It's like I'm a big guy, I gotta like scrunch in to, you know, get by people. If I stepped in the road, I get hit by a bus. <laughs> so and like I said, the driving here, I don't honestly know if it's any worse anywhere else. <laughs> I was just in Mexico, it was fine. China was even fine. I mean, it's insane. This China, like people slow down at certain points. Like here, it's like any little spike, you're gonna go as fast as you can, uh, cut in, and it's uh, so. I mean, if you like worked remotely here, and you know, you only went, went out once in a while to get a cab, like in the town, meet friends and stuff. Or there's probably some nice neighborhoods here, but around here, man, that would I would definitely not want to commute here every day if I had to. Weather up on Shikani, not looking too great today. Up on Misty, it looks okay, but yeah, Chichani's definitely uh, would not want to be up there today. No view and like pretty crazy storms and wind. That's ah, a bummer, but it's that time of year. People don't actually come up here in the, uh, what is considered the summer in Peru, so. Not the nicest rooftop in town, but hey, you know, a 50 cent beer or a $5 beer at a posh place. So it's all good. That's something old school here. Crazy. We could see the cathedral out there. We were thinking it would be like so funny to like have a water balloon slingshot and just like send them over to the square over there and then have someone else with a camera <laughs> be funny until we'd end up in jail but we did that as a kid all the time for my front yard nail people in the face at the plaza across the street good times nice. Cheers. sweet much more chill tonight which is nice yesterday was a madhouse i don't know because it's uh december 23rd yesterday so maybe everyone's uh, like in their homes tonight with their families and then tomorrow's Christmas. I'm not sure, but uh, I mean, there's a few cars, but definitely much more chill than uh, yesterday for sure. Good stuff, like they definitely know how to uh, make some good food. And I also know why some people are a little overweight, including me, but yeah. You get a bag of chips, they mix it with like some chips, some like Doritos, some regular chips, some like bacon chips, and like the fries have hot dogs, and who else was in there? 
trying to check it. Yeah, check it. It's so cool, though. Hey, it works. You know, uh, so Pato? it's all good. Uh, yeah, thank you. I don't know. We'll take keep that. Oh. Oh. Yeah, they had a good beer selection there. It was a nice uh, craft beers. I'm not sure where they uh, make them or, you know, if it's here or somewhere else, but it was definitely nice. No. <laughs> what? She's saying it's 280. <laughs> no. Let's see the piece of paper. No. No. no, no. 280. No. That's how it's like $100 for two for three days. <laughs> US dollars. <laughs> that, that's, you're not right. That's not Should we get the lady from the hotel? Yeah, we're getting the special Christmas price for uh, foreigners. <laughs> 